been recognized as a tool to gain riches. Draws crowds from the poorest to the richest. Oh, the messages I sing, they constantly bring in minds to peace when thoughts are vicious. Oh, I inspire envy in the hearts of all girls and boys. It's a well-kept secret, if you haven't heard already. Oh, oh, the tunes I sing can even calm the most savage beast strife. Oh, I melodically sing and speak words so methodically, using verbs and adjectives and blurbs about love and life. Oh, like, like Ella James and Mahala Jackson, Nat King Cole, and even Michael Jackson. Oh, music has been used to spread messages of peace. So why now do we use it to harm and to appease? The messages that we use now, they spread words of harm, hatred, and despair. I loathe the way we project images to our youth. Why is it okay to show our young women to be Barbie? And why is it okay to show our young men to exploit women? The system now is altogether faulty. Just a few things America has taught me. <laughs> comic and I talk to you and I say things to you and I tell you my story and I'm open to you. I'm up here on the stage all by myself. It's just me and I share my life with you. I share my experiences and they're all so funny. So we laugh together. I laugh, you laugh, everybody gets a great big laugh at my expense. I share with you, I talk to you, I tell you things about my past, my hopes for the future and though they sometimes hurt me, I tell you them and you laugh. And you're not laughing at me, right? We're laughing together, right? You're laughing with me, right? Because I'm not the butt of the joke. I sit here and I talk about my sister and I talk about my brother and I talk about how I'm so hurt by the fact that nobody wants to ever marry me or how I've had so many divorces and it's so funny to me that he left and he left and he doesn't want me and she hates me and my own sister doesn't even have my back. And I tell you that, it's so funny. I crack up to myself. I really, I'm telling you, I'm laughing. Deep down on the inside, I am laughing. I laugh about it. I laugh about how the system has methodically put into place a system of breakdown in the black community about how Chicago is called Chirac because I see my black boys and my brothers getting shut down on corners every day. But I talk to you and it's so funny. Isn't it funny? It's funny to you, right? Because y'all all laughing, and you laughing with me, not at me, right? It's so funny to me how people get up on stage and they talk about how daddy went to work and he worked so hard till he almost died trying to provide for his family. And how he's so frustrated that he can't get it all to meet. He can't make the ends meet. So he comes home and he downloads that anger on my mama mm. in the bedroom and I can hear that. Mm. But I turn around and I turn over and I go to sleep and I say, it's so funny, ain't y'all? Ain't that funny how your dad come home and beat your mama? It's funny, right? Mm. It's so funny how mama tries to make miracles on every Thanksgiving and she can't really do it because daddy don't have nothing to bring home, but she got to be home, take care of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kids. How's she gonna do it? She frustrated. So what she do is she beat me. She don't chastise me. She doesn't whoop me in the way that you should. She beats me. But I come and tell you about it, about how the wooden hangers hurt and the extension cords hurt and how I got beat so much that I got wets on my back. Right? It's funny, right? So let's laugh together about it. Let's talk to each other about it because these are the things that America told me I do for the dollar, right? I mean, they said I got access to the White House. They said I can have whatever I want if I go to college, right? So I go, I go to college, I graduate, I go on interview, and I go on interview, and I go on interview, or I get the job, and I get passed over, and I get passed over, I feel like it's Easter coming. I got so many Passovers. <laughs> but that's funny, right? 
That's funny to you, right? Let's laugh, let's laugh about it. It's so funny. It's so funny talking about how these young girls coming up don't have any class and they're not like me and how my grandma raised me. So let's laugh about it. They all lost, but it's funny. Let's make a joke out of it because it's funny, right? This is hilarious, right? I go home and lay down at night. I can't even sleep. I'm tossing and turning from the things I'm telling you are funny. It's tears of a clown. I'm smiling and I'm laughing, but I'm hurting inside. But nobody ever reaches out and say, is that true? Are you really okay? Nobody comes to me and says, did that really happen in your past? Nobody says, do you need to talk to somebody? Because that sounds like a really bad situation you went through. No, they say, that's funny. Come do it again, we'll give you more money. So, while you sitting there laughing at me, I'm not laughing. But this is what I do for the dollar. The things that I tell you are so haunting. But these are just a few things that America taught me. Wow. So many things we go through in the black community. So many things that we face. But together, we'll rise as a black race. Amen. Amen. Amen.